Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 26, 2023. Well, kind of an interesting um, day yesterday where um, we have a relentless set of bulls. They, um, uh, the gloomy forecast for Microsoft meant nothing to the market. We gapped down and went down 400 points in the Dow and then rallied it right back up in anticipation of more earnings reports and a big day of data today. So if we take a look at what happened yesterday, it's pretty hard to know what will happen today. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts, see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, I left these drawings on the chart because I do think it is important that we recognize the kind of pattern that we're in here in the market and really the potential danger of that pattern, um, both bullish and bearish. You know, if you're overly short in the market, um, uh, this move up here to break that resistance right here is over 800 point. If we um, are bearish in the market, this move from here to come down here and retest this support, about 800 points now. So kind of a big potential move is possible here in the market. And I just don't know when it's going to occur. If we take a look, we um, just kind of holding in here around these levels of price resistance in the chart, trying to fight through these areas. So if the bulls find inspiration, then I would look for that push up here toward that downtrend channel um, in the chart. We'll, we'll see if we can push on up through that and more resistance in the chart. If the bears find inspiration, then um, I would look for a retest down in here toward the bottom side of this um, wedging pattern and uh, possibly even a push down into that price support. So a lot going on here in this chart and not a whole lot of answers um, yet with a lot of confusion here in the market. Wild volatility continues um, with multi hundred point moves on the day and you can see um, we um, snuck right back above that 50 day moving average yesterday um, and continued to push this market into pretty extended positions here. We'll look at that in just a second. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now SPY, they've been knocking on the door here, threatening, threatening, threatening to break this downtrend here in the chart. I need to straighten that line up a little bit. It's more like that, I think. Um, and as you can see, um, what we're doing is we're banging against that door trying to pop out. Now last night we had good earnings from Tesla. IBM was a little bit on the disappointing side, but as you can see, we're trying to push higher here this morning um, with that hopefulness here in tech. <laughs> Um, we even bought Microsoft yesterday after their gloomy forecast uh, just buy something close your eyes and plug your nose and buy something seems to be the method of the market right now um, so watch this price resistance today it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can push on through here as you can see we can get through that that downtrend resistance then we break this back potentially break the back anyway of this overall bear trend here in the market and you'll want to notice that we have price resistance levels up here that we are testing in the chart right now so if we can push on through those maybe push back up here toward these highs um, in the chart and notice that we've got um, more resistance there that we'll be dealing with and those are pretty big point moves um, to be had here if the bears find that inspiration then maybe a retest back down here on that price support would be a possibility on the day again pretty dangerous in the potential price moves and the potential whips that we could see here in the market if we take a look at our qqq I'm going to call that pretty much the same, and I need to straighten this line up as well. Um, make sure we're kind of copacetic here with these price action moves. And as you can see here in the QQQ, here we are again banging against that door, trying to get it to open for that upside move. And we had 
a big move in Hong Kong last night, up more than 2%. And uh, Tesla having a nice effect here on the market today. So we continue to push up the big techs, um, despite kind of those gloomy forecasts for Microsoft. So keep an eye on that. Now, watching this chart, as you can see, if we can get that bullish inspiration and push on up, we've got these resistance levels up here to test. And remember, breaking through the downtrend is one thing. We've done that before where we broke through a downtrend and then we reverse and fail. So please keep in mind, um, you don't want to be the person, the last person in the door on the um, relief rally to the upside or the rally to the upside if that happens to reverse and come down. That could be very, very painful. So you want to be really careful chasing into an extension like this in the market. If those bears find inspiration, well, I would suggest maybe a push back down here to test support would seem likely. And then if we look at our Russell IWM, IWM holding in their bullish, reversing that selling yesterday. And here we are again, we're up here banging against this major resistance level in the chart, trying to say this time is going to be different. We can break out from that. And that may be the truth. So watch that closely here. If those bulls find inspiration and push on through this resistance, well, let's look over here. We've got fairly significant resistance levels, just a little bit higher here in the chart um, so if they find that energy to do that great if the bears find energy today I'd probably suggest a retest of that low from yesterday and if that doesn't hold maybe we come down here to that bigger area of price support so keep a close eye on it we've got a lot of volatility potential here today with a lot of data coming our way let's move along here quickly this morning because we do want to get to some of these things that could move the our market substantially let's take a look at our VIX our VIX started to show a little bit of fear yesterday, and then those bulls came in. They were just no match for the bulls that just are relentless here. Doesn't matter what the data is, they just want to buy something. And as you can see, continuing in this downtrend here in the chart, uh, we do have this possibility of that little higher low, but I don't know that I would be worried much about that at this point. It is just about all buying going on here in the market, no matter just no matter what's ahead, um, just keep buying. So watch that closely. Now, if those, if we do find reason for a little bit of fear coming into the market, then watch that downtrend for the potential break. And we're gonna have significant resistance levels in this chart that it need to be break, broken if the bears are going to take control. And if those bulls continue, well, let's watch this support level down here. Um, every reason to believe that they could push that on down. and. I think I think we are starting to reach some complacency levels considering the, the data that we have coming, an FOMC, a possible recession, um, all of these things around the corner. We may be reaching into some complacency here in our uh, VIX. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, well, our T2122 started out the day kind of down here in the mid range with that selling first thing in the morning, but the buyers pushed it right back up and as you can see we're still up here in the bearish reversal zone which means if we find good inspiration today we're going to need probably something like a short squeeze to really push us to the upside I think um, because we don't have much room in here to do it um, um, to move on higher in T2122 and by the way guys there's never been a time ever been a time when T2122 breaks above 100. Just now we've been at 100 before, never broke above 100. So we don't have a whole long way that we can move um, in this indicator, but that could still mean big price moves in the market. And um, what it also tells us is if the bears find inspiration, my goodness, we have opened up a pretty big opportunity for that if those bears find that inspiration. If we look at our T2108, still have that same circumstance. We flattened out here a little bit yesterday in T2108. This is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. 
And you'll notice in here that we continue to maintain this very elevated um, uh, point here in the market. And you'll also want to note that as we go through this, and this goes all the way back into 2017, it's a rare occasion that we can push up here and hold up above this level. It's showing us kind of that overstretched or overbought condition um, here in the market. Doesn't mean we can't push on higher because there is that relentless push right now but you want to be you don't want to be the last one in the door because the reversal from that point could be substantial so be careful and then if we take a look at our t2107 very much the same thing we continue to extend this up and we're reaching some of those rarefied positions here in the market again going all the way back to 2017 it's a pretty um heady place that we are testing right now in um the percentage of stocks above the 200 days so keep in mind as we continue to stretch again don't be the last one in the door because the reversal from that point could be substantial um, t2101 interesting enough um, made a shift showing that that momentum may be shifting and you know it's probably likely um, with the big whipsaw we saw yesterday that that would occur i don't know that we're getting great data from that but watch that closely you know if we look at our um, uh, charts right at the end of the day we got good volume um, from the dark pools in the diamonds if we take a look at spy and qqq again it was right there at the last um, 10 minutes of the day that volume really started to show up in the day so volume is doing okay here as we continue to push higher so that data may be improving in t2101 but i think this whipsaw has got it a little confused this choppy wide range multi-hundred point chop zone has it just a little bit of bit confused at the moment let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and oh my goodness we have a whopper of a day here on the economic calendar not going to go through what um, they are suggesting in the consensus just know that there's going to be a lot of potential moving around it's going to happen before the bell nothing we can do about it um, we've got durable goods gdp international trading goods jobless claims and then we're going to have chicago national fed activity retail sales inventory and wholesale inventories all coming out prior to the market open so there is a potential for some big price moves and a lot of volatility right around that open and I do think it's fair to say anything is possible by the time the market opens up today so watch those numbers closely we're going to follow that up with new home sales and natural gas report we have some bond auctions later today and a fed balance sheet that won't matter at all um, if you take a look uh, for tomorrow as you plan forward remember this is the fed's very favorite number the core pce number so keep an eye on that that'll be friday morning before the bell so we're not finished with this wild and crazy week and we've got consumer consumer sentiment and pending home sales um, to add on to that as we move forward. Keeping in mind that I believe it's next week we're going to have an FOMC meeting and a possible rate increase. So kind of keep those things um, in the back of your mind as you plan your risk for um, the time moving forward here. Let's take a look at some um, um, stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys oh you know what before we do that we need to talk about earnings um, we have a big day on the earnings calendar as well now there's no way I can cover all of them in any way shape or form because um, we're just getting too many so you might want to make sure and uh, find that link just below the title of the video that will take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list we're gonna have a slew of airlines um, reporting today ALK, um, AAL, um, um, LUV, JetBlue will be reporting today. It looks like we're getting a mix of data here on that this morning. Um, we've got Comcast. I think they've already reported here this morning, uh, trying to pop a little higher. We're going to hear from Visa, MasterCard. Um, we've got quite a few companies in here reporting um, that have the potential to move us around a little bit so we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that other places out there a little bit more industrial type things we're going to hear from uh, Valero we're going to hear from Warehouser we're going to hear from Tractor Supply we're going to hear from U.S. Steel 
So kind of keep those in mind as you progress forward. There's going to be a lot of uh, things moving. And then on the big temp tech front, um, we're going to have Intel after the bell today, and that'll be interesting. That's our biggest tech for the day. Um, and you can see we're pressing resistance here in this chart, trying to come up out of this bottom. So keep a close eye on that one. So um, let's take a look at those stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. Once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon so it, um, we'll, you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if today's video um, was useful or helpful to you please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to thank, th say thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that I truly appreciate it and a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's also down there below the title of the video and thank you so much to you guys who do that um, truly truly appreciate it let's take a peek at some of these stocks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and and making sure that um, um, the volatility of this market is something that is acceptable these are pretty big point moves in these indexes and can add an awful lot of risk to your trading first off let's take a look at some that I've mentioned before uh, uh, Generac and Generac continues to set up in this pattern had a little bit of selling yesterday but as we rallied back you'll notice we had those buyers picking up this happens to be a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout I like the fact that we've got our 50-day moving average turning up we've got a bit of a moving average squeeze coming into that chart so keep an eye on Generac if that finds those buyers in here today that might be the opportunity to pick up a position in here and there's quite a few of these patterns out there they're everywhere right now with stocks trying to come up out of the bottom um, let's take a look at um, Amazon for an example now Amazon I think would be a really high risk trade um, unless you're just looking for a, a very short term uh, position in here keeping in mind that next Tuesday Amazon is going to report so watch that closely another round of bottom breakout pattern they're trying to push up we do have significant levels of price resistance above here and just keeping in mind technically we're still in a pretty ugly downtrend here on Amazon so you'll want to think about that other places that you might want to look boy I got to tell you there was some really nice price action in some of the miners um, yesterday we have GDX GDX is an ETF um, of our major miners and you can see we're pushing up into some price resistance but my goodness gold and silver mining right now is on fire and we're moving Moving hard and fast to the upside so keep an eye on that now watch this resistance level in here if we pop through and hold the higher low then I would suspect there could be more upside here you might also want to look at if you were looking for the junior miners uh, GDXJ also continuing to show that bullishness pushing up through some res or into some resistance levels in the chart but maintaining lots and lots of bullishness if you take a look at stocks like AUY gold miner um, really looking good and we're pushing up toward all-time highs here in AUI big potential moves <coughs> excuse me uh, moving to the upside in some of these uh, miners whoops AU AU is another one that could be setting up KGC um, possibly setting up um, Newmont Newmont mining potentially setting up um, uh, bearing gold um, all across that board we've got in that mining sector we've got a lot going on in there take a look at um, we'll get away from some of the precious metals and just go to more of the industrial metals take a look at VALE very very strong in this bullish move to the upside keep a close eye on that how about some uranium uranium looking great in here CCJ very very strong pushing to the upside any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there and you can look across you know several of those URA um, UUUU 
um, lots of things happening here in that sector so keep a close eye on those as far as the tech sector goes I think there is still some question out there but there are some charts that are showing some pretty good signs now AMD is going to report on the 31st so you know keeping in mind that it's got it's got some work um, or some risk here based on that earnings report but you'll notice we broke through a little bit of price resistance and now we're testing a price resistance up in here we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on this as we head into that earnings report and remembering that with options um, that implied volatility generally goes way up meaning the price of your option gets higher and higher and higher on the time value so you want to be a little bit careful here here as we press these resistance levels heading into earnings um, and keeping in mind that overall we still are fighting that downtrend but we're seeing enough of these per perking up I think it's worth start putting some in that some of them on your list and watching them closely for potential entries Nvidia would be another that I think is going to be very interesting coming up on uh, February 22nd notice that it is breaking that resistance level here in the chart and already has developed this interesting little inverted head and shoulders pattern in the chart so there's our neckline of that of that move and if this were to um, after breaking through this resistance up here if this were to hold rest a little bit come out there toward that trend look for that next opportunity in Nvidia could be coming up here soon so watch that close so with that guys there's a few charts for you to look at today um, I want to wish you all great success and I want to also caution you to be really careful to chase of chasing into this extension in the market as we press these resistance levels remember it's all always exciting and that fear of missing out can uh, cause us to do some very silly things but remember as we push and push and press to try and break through to the upside it's that last person in the door that's going to get punished um, the most when we catch that selling reversal um, and that may not be just taking us all the way back down but just relieving some of that buying pressure here in the market and some profit taking that comes in and that can still be very very punishing to the person who races in with the fear of missing out late in the rally so consider that carefully y'all take care be safe have an awesome day and i will see you right back here bright and early friday morning wish you all the best